I've been involved on an off trade tech since 2004 when I gave the keynote. Yeah. But this year, for the first time, we're running, we've got an experimental facility in a side room just off of the main exhibition hall where we're running experiments pitting human traders against advanced automated trading systems. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, there's a bit of history here, which is that in, uh, do you want me to just. Yeah, do. Okay. Yeah. So there's a bit of history here, which is that in uh, 1995, I was doing some work for Hewlett Packard, and I kind of accidentally invented one of the first adaptive automated algorithm trading systems. Yeah. yeah, well, I was just trying to win an argument with some economists, uh, and under the terms and conditions of the work I was doing for HP, we published not only the results, but all the code, so we, yeah. we open sourced yeah. the, the algorithm. And at the same time, uh, there was a, an American academic, Steve Gerstad, who was also working on a similar thing. He didn't know about my stuff, but I didn't know about his stuff. And he and his PhD supervisor, John Dickow, came up with a different algorithm called GD for yeah. Gerstad and Dickow. So there were these two algorithms that were invented in 1995. They both just kind of languished doing nothing. And then in 2000 2001, a team at IBM ran some experiments where they fitted these algorithms against human traders. And it was the first time ever under experimental conditions. Yeah. So people have done a lot of work where you get an artificial trading floor together yeah. Yeah. and you have humans trading against each other yeah. and then you, you say interesting things about results. This yeah. is known as experimental economics. And Vernon Smith got the Nobel Prize for economics a few years ago for yeah. inventing that approach. Yeah. People have also done studies where on a virtual network you had robots interacting with each other just to try and build better robots. Yeah. But what the, the IBM team did 10 years ago for the first time ever was actually pit humans against robots and see who came out better. And the rather, rather astonishing result was both GD and my zip out human traders consistently, whether it was humans on the buy side and sellers on the, and robots on the seller side or, or, or the other way around, or a mix. Yeah. And that result was stirred and I got quite well known because of that. Yeah. Uh, and so did Gerstad and Dickow. Yeah. But for the last 10 years, no one has replicated that result. Yeah. And one of the reasons for that is that at the time it required, you had to have a lot of resources. You had to be a company like IBM to set up yeah. a whole room full of machines, networks to together, a central exchange server. And of course, in the last 10 years, the price of hardware has dropped dramatically. Yeah. And we noticed, uh, basically this time last year, I was here, and I just thought, you know what, with networks costing 150 quid. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we applied to EPSRC, the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council, which is, yeah. the, which is the main UK source by which taxpayers fund public funding of research. Yeah. And we said, look, for 10,000 quid, we can set up an experimental facility. We can run humans against robots and replicate these results, but also, for the first time ever, test the, the humans against the latest robots that have come out of the academic literature. Yeah. So the key thing is we're not, we're not taking the products that we find on the trading floor here. We're taking the academic work, which is likely to influence the next generation of products. Yeah. We're running it against yeah. humans. We're doing our first experiment in the coffee break. We've done several dry runs. Uh, it would be uh, impolitic for me to say what, those, what the results of those dry runs were, other than I'm really, really excited. So, and one of the other things that makes it very interesting is that we're going to be uh, working out the contacts here to try and get as many professionals from the markets yeah. to take part in these experiments because historically such experiments have often just used you know, IBM, used a bunch of IBM employees yeah. and a bunch yeah. of undergraduates. Yeah. And there's always that question of you know, if you actually work in the markets, if you're familiar with it, the notion of you know, being a sales trader or Exchange, might you be better positioned to beat a robot than all of the robots that never tested? Oh, wow. So yes. we've, got, we've got a network of um, uh, got 12 uh, networks upstairs, all talking to a central server. Uh, my PhD student, Marco De Luca, who uh, worked for Barcat and Credit Suisse before he gave up to, to work with me, uh, has put a huge amount there. I mean, he's, he's fantastic. He's just put an amazing amount of effort into, into getting this together. And we just don't know what's going to happen. So, what, um, what time's the coffee break? Uh, do you know, I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're going to we're going to run some experiment, some experiments this coffee break, some in the lunch break, some in the afternoon coffee break. And when do the results come out? So gonna... uh, we're running a workshop tomorrow afternoon. Uh, so okay. tomorrow afternoon it's a parallel session, just two sessions. And I'm, yeah. I'm chairing one of those sessions. Yeah. It's, 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 I mean, I think we owe it to the trade tech community uh, yeah. as a vote of thanks, uh, or sorry, as a sign of thanks, to, to tell them some preliminary results. But yeah, sure. the key thing is, as scientists, we have to be very careful. So there will be preliminary 
we need to replicate them, we need to do more analysis. There's only so much we can do here, it's 24 hours. But I think it's going to be quite exciting. I mean, if, if the latest robots consistently beat humans, even when those humans are investment professionals, that's news. If the, invention, if the investment professionals can, can beat the latest robots, then that's news too. So it's kind of heads you win, tails you win. Fantastic. We're going to be there. Okay. Okay. And I need your business card because I'm okay. going to have to ask about the results after. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. So, um, but um, this, let me introduce John Howe, who is, who is the boss. Okay. Um, 